music here is so happy. <laughs> it's just so just full of energy and peppermint. It's pretty great. Hey there, everyone, this is uh, Cal playing uh, VLDC9. We're in Grass Town. We're down to this cliff. It's the Grassy Quattro by Christian07, 59th place. We're just jumping ahead in a crazy way here. Really? Those are instead of, I don't know, from this one screen, that seems pretty low. Okay, that's more like it. <laughs> like, just from this one screen, like, look at that. Making believable, like, moss and stuff out of, like... Like, look at that falling piece of moss up there in the cave. Like, it doesn't seem like much. But remember that this is entirely made out of vanilla assets, and suddenly... That's pretty impressive. I've often said, and I'm often going to say in the future, but it's still little touches. The till and cake piece, cake map that guy is, does know what is app. What is an app? It's an application. It's short form internet speak, maybe. Because with that land out there, I'm wondering if there's something in the below. That'd be silly. There's a pipe there. This is conveying very powerfully this weird sense of not getting things. <laughs> Just gonna have to be careful. I really love the fact that these floating blocks are not floating at all. They're not just floating pieces of dirt ground, you know? They're attached to rafters. Someone was building something here. But construction was halted, and nature took over everything, leaving us with only a mystery of what could have been. And that this can be so effortlessly created by just placing the right little pieces at the right places. Like, yeah, there's a little bit of, like, straightforward platforming here and there, but no. This is an extremely well-executed flavor. I find it a very... Maybe I'm overanalyzing things. You know what? That's possible. Bonsai Bill, what are you doing in this atmospheric setting? There's the big bullet with someone painted a goofy face on. Because of that, we thought it best to give you a name. Hey, it's a big sea of monitor. Playing a big floor? Big flu ride of monitor? I think that's how you... When you call a group of them. Charlie now is dead. I am quite sad. He just jumped into the end. And nobody knows why. Just one day he woke up and with a mighty spring, he, he leapt and fell in the hole like a big dummy. No one knows or understand why Charles Chuck and Third, the fifth, decided to do that that fateful uh, Saturday morning, but we all remember for months and months, you know, afterwards, that uh, suddenly- Whoa, no! I fell off the edge like a dumb idiot! My beautiful story! It's ruined! It's ruined forever! Man, is this just me? That second half felt a little bit on the long side <laughs> compared to the first half. Maybe it's just because I've just been playing it in one big splopple, which is the uh, official measuring unit for level length uh, or screens. But like that's not, you know, that's like using imperial and metric. You know, like one of them is what people do just use out of tradition. But the other, the Splopple, is a lot more precise. But, you know, because people don't want to relearn everything. And I understand that, you know, once you're comfortable with something. Like, why change? Oh man, Charlie jumped in a pit again for no reason. I... We really have to strive to really study, you know, uh, those diseases that make you move your limbs in extremely complex yet, uh, not on purpose ways. Go away, man. I'm trying to, to be serious here. It's a subject close to my heart. I keep it in, you know, the hole in between my ribs for safekeeping. 
Problem is that it's really painful to get the information out, but that's why typically we use brains for that. Oh, I just sat there and I was like, well, I could tank it. And you know, like, being not careful, I could just end up in the drink instead. And Rick, uh, wow, this is a... There's a little bit of chance here, like, the platforms were just... They're just not in a way where I could do much about it. There was, like, was one there, one there, and one there. Maybe it was made so you're supposed to bounce on the Charlie, or I don't know if you could hurry and get there on time. Two of the same possibility, but I still thought this level was very successful. I really liked it a lot. Like, Genoa Island, I thought that was neat. And then we go here. Saturation plays like Mark D. A little over. That's it's a red level, except there's like no way to have a red level there on the map, so I don't know about that, man. So these are the score that you might remember to put under your car seat for safekeeping. Creativity, 10 out of 20. What? Let's go. Saturation where it's all about. There's a secret exit. There's a cow. I will play the role of the cow, so I just need to find a secret exit. Also, Dragon Coins are back. The cave was just, yo, check it out, I'm a level. Kept it real smooth and simple. We got exclamation mark to warn us about some kind of things. You can go inside of hive and start to dream. Oh man, there's music I don't recognize here. It's it's really highfalutin because see there's flutes. That's that's the joke! It's a really successful joke, you can't say otherwise. Hi bat, you you guys, you guys are flying. Just kind of flutter flutter. Good job, man, you know? Those wings take a lot of muscles to move back and forth. Okay, we're just beyond the blue pipe. I would've, would've. All right, Charlie's down there. He's a pretty cool guy. From the ball, that guy's all like, yo, check it. Wow, that could've gone many ways. Most of which would not have been the greatest for me. But many ways is the way of many. Hey, there's one of them here for those interested in the collection aids of one-ups. I mean, happens to the best of us, I have to say. Don't know where I'm at or I will go today. That guy's gonna fall and say hello. I said hello to his backside and he went bazoos. Why would you do that? Don't go bazoos. Alright, so that's a warning. But there's no sliding man, so I'm just, I'm just gonna just jump. There's a pipe there though. Hey. It's our good old friend, Sumo Bro, most popular enemy of this game. <laughs> Something below here. Oh! Oh, I got hit by an invisible thing, apparently. Alright, that's cool. That's, that's great. That's cool, great. I'm kinda curious, honestly, what's, what's going on over here, because there's like this thing here. There's a pipe that is covered with blocks. I wonder what that can mean. One day I'm gonna smush the switch and go into a world I've never seen. Oh boy. Too bad I got the blue switch. Oh, there's the key. <laughs> go away, footballs. I don't like you. Please melt in the lava. Yo, chuck it. What's with the lines there in the wall? I don't know. They're where you can put the plug in. You know, you can pl have you have a giant appliance. Why not? Let's let's say that. Ooh, whoop, wow, wow. I hmm ha huh, hmm. My memory is not what it could be. You know what? So this is another opportunity to explore. What happens if you just go down here and never go up? See, these are important things to find out. I want to see what's inside that block. You got a house. Wow, way to lord it up over everyone else who can't afford one, you jerk, you dummy, you weasel, you bactrician. Well, I wanted to bring either the Koopa or the Shell. I want to hit that black, yellow block, that's the way we over Baz the old on here. Speak, well, I guess I won't know. <laughs> Why must you go through land, Mr. Shell? Alright, I'm gonna try again. This time, I'm not just gonna throw it through the... Oh, oh, it's a one-up. Well, I mean, I had to find out, you know, it's just there. It was begging to be found out, and I did. And so now I can do it the upper path. It's way more interesting than the lower path, because it's just a few jumps. Like, yeah, a few jumps. All right! Did you see that, Wark Baldweird? Principal of the Academy of French Bread. 
This evil dangerous was trespassing this point. You'll have some challenges ahead. Oh no! What am I going to do? Bowser Street and getting me with challenges. I don't know he meant that kind of challenge. I'm just gonna go make my way. I went the wrong way and now I can't get anything at all. Well, I mean, technically, I can go back. Now you've got all this the, this tree mushroom system. Because you gotta get the dragon coin. Riding it out on a car. That guy's just moving around. And then I died anyway in like a really, really quite embarrassing way, I have to and say. Oh, this one, the midpoint doesn't return. It's all these little things. But okay, so yeah, I don't don't have a uh, power up at all. It looks like that makes me a little sad. Come on, man. Right, so let's make our way across the universe and over there. Didn't know I don't need to press anything. I'm not sure how you get that moon at all, honestly. Ah, there we go. Perfection has been found. Inside this face mask. Now we can move on forward in a land being shot at by individuals. Oh no, coins! Whoa, that shell's moving. Uh, use a springboard, find a starman block up ahead somewhere. Oh, really? That, alright. I'm not gonna complain against that. But somewhere is leaving it pretty open. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's even worth it. Like, just destroy your enemies instead and just, like, leave. <sighs> even when they're not above a pit of death. Just being boppered by one of those. And because I lost my bigness, I can't get the last dragon coin. Really? Like, that's just insult to injuries adding. Uh, because of that one blot. And I bet if, if there's a mushroom, I'm doubling back for sure. But that's looking like it's not gonna be the case. No, I'm destroying myself. I don't want to finish a level if I can't get the dragon coin. Like, what are you saying here? Well, why did you double hit the switch? How did that even happen? you're gonna have a surprise. Like, I get it that it's there to help you bring the springboard around. Like, I get it. I understand that that is, is its purpose, but... I... <laughs> it's still placed in a way where it might lead to unforeseen consequences. Now I can just murder all the enemies. I don't know why there's a box that goes out of the way to tell you, Hey! I hit a star somewhere! Can you find it? It's really well hidden. Oh no, we're now in the bone graveyard zone. Uh, suddenly, what an unforeseen circumstance! <laughs> that came out of nowhere. It was all like Pleasant Town, Happy Town, super music. That brief visit at the land of the dead. Oh, that's another one. It's another one. Pipe side by Minime. 95th. Yeah, no. Okay, so the ratings they just go wherever. No dragon coins, just straight up, just play the level, got it! This is ratings, ooh, one out of the design, it's pretty good. Ninja Boy doesn't agree though. Eternity agrees even less! Coopster's back to agreeing a little bit. Yo, welcome to Pipeside, I don't know, it's just a wave level and there is a thing. Well, I mean, there's probably a power-up up there, but what? Having the patience to wait for the tide to rise? I don't think so, buddy. I enjoy all the tiny little stars here and there. <laughs> they are amazing. I love them. Um, so, yeah, you, you're you a monster. Possibly history's greatest. Because, yeah, now 
These are all just gonna plinko everywhere. Oh, okay, this... That's apparently the main conceit of this level, and that was me making a terrible decision. Should I just continue underneath? Ninja... Oh... Uh, I don't know. That's... Ah, man, I just wanna go underneath. Whatever it is I'm trying to do to happen. So the reason why I was investigating all these is in case one of them carried a power-up, but if it's... What's with all the football, men? <laughs> This is, yo, check it out! I uh, was accepted to Football Academy School. Now I'm just gonna put football men everywhere. It's gonna be the greatest of times. And up here, there's nothing to do. Hey, fish. Y'all are jumping especially high today. Ah, why did I turn around? I don't know. Okay, I'll admit it. I'm a little curious. No, you got nothing to win from going up there. Anything that strands you in a really uncomfortable position, but from there you can go here. But from here you just end up just jumping here anyways. You gain- Ah, uh, whoa. Oh, those are- Uh, well, uh, I- When you walk in the water, you don't move very fast. There's nothing to gain from going up there. This is a weird level. Like, maybe there's a power-up in one of those, but like... Because all the obstacles are f footballs bouncing randomly, it's like... It never feels like the risk is worth it. All skill, no thrills. Let's go! Power-up! Hoi. Uh, yeah, like... 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 Dude, what? How do you do this? I need the shell. Uh... Alright, fair enough. Okay... It's like, okay, like... Okay? Okay, and that's a level! Wow! That was weirdly intense! I love how it's all like pastilly and whatnot, so you wouldn't think of it. But man, football spam everywhere sure makes for a tense experience. <laughs> wow, I just didn't expect. Oh. <laughs> but the feeling afterwards confirms that. Yeah, yeah, this was a good time. I can see how people wouldn't like it, but it was a good time.